Lesson 7, Lights Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today you are going to learn how you can add an area light to your scene. Step 5, The Area Light Create an empty game object and name it Area Light. Next, add a light component to it. As you already know, there are several types of lights in Unity. Today we are going to focus on the last one, the area light. An area light is light that shines in all directions to one side of a rectangular area of a plane. The rectangle is defined by the width and height properties. Please note that the area lights are only available during light map baking, this means that they have no effect on objects at runtime. The first parameter on the light component is type. Here you can set the type of light you want to use. You can either select spot, directional, point or area. Today we are going to use an area light, so set the type to area. As you can see, the area light has only four parameters that you can change. The following parameter is color, and will set the color of the light emitted. On intensity you set the brightness of the light. The default value for an area light is 1. The next two parameters are width and height, and they are used to set the size of the rectangular light area. If you press play, you will see that the area light is casting its light on all objects within its range. The size of the rectangle is determined by the width and height properties. The side to which light is being casted is the plane's normal, which is the same as the light's positive Z direction. The light is emitted from the whole surface of the rectangle. Because of this, shading and shadows from affected object tend to be much softer than with point or directional light sources. The lighting calculations for an area light are quite processor intensive, because of this, they are not available at runtime and can only be baked into light maps. This concludes our lesson on lights. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts or feedback, leave it on the comment section below. Until next time, and keep doing awesome games.